Welcome back everyone. Today we're talking about the Fakie Full Cab. The Fakie Full Cab is a Fakie Backside 360. It originated on Transition by Steve Caballero. It's also called a, a Caballerial for this reason. Uh, it looks really cool on Transition. Unfortunately, I can't do them super cool like all these Vert Legends do it. Uh, maybe one day, but anyways, uh, it's really just a Fakie Backside 360. I would recommend having your half cabs down and your backside 180s down. As you know, if you've watched a lot of my videos, I like to try to break down tricks into multiple parts. And I think this is really just a, a half cab and a backside 180. You'll notice that at the highest point of the trick, the half cab is already completed. And I'm really just doing the backside 180 on my way back down towards the ground. You want to set up for this trick like a half cab with your feet fully on the board because they tend to shift by the time you land, uh, as I'd mentioned in my half cab video. So just set up like you normally would for the half cab, uh, except you're gonna wind up more, you're gonna twist more, uh, because this trick is really just the half cab on steroids. It's the, it's the full cab, right? The full the full complete series, right? So you want to, to wind up as much as you can um, and get a solid high pop. The higher you pop, the easier it is to get the full rotation. But I do think a lot of people learn this trick with a pivot or a revert, and that's totally okay. Um, in that case, you'll land a little bit heavier on the nose so that you can bring the tail around by by sort of landing on the, on the front two wheels first and just bringing the rest of uh, the trick around. Or you can just kind of land with all wheels simultaneously and just uh, slide it around. It's easier to do that on smooth ground than it is on, you know, unpolished concrete. Uh, but that seems to be the, the way that a lot of people learn this trick uh, because it's, it's hard to get the full rotation in the air when you're doing any kind of 360, in my opinion. So if that's how you want to learn it, totally cool. Uh, if you want to just try and get the full rotation because you're confident with your pop, that's also cool. It's, it's really just your personal preference on that but it does become easier to get the full rotation when you're doing it on something like a hip where you don't have to worry about the the complete 360 or you know on a stair set or off of a bank or something that allows you to get more air time uh, it's just it's really just comes down to to what makes you feel more comfortable when you're learning this trick there's only a few of them here in which i get the full rotation without any sort of uh, pivot or revert but that's basically the um, that's basically the full cab and uh, the most common issues you'll have with this one is landing too heavily on the nose uh, when you're trying to to pivot it or just if not getting the full rotation and just you know maybe doing something like a 270 or just you know trying to slide or revert your way out and your feet come off and the revert doesn't work that's just something that happens when learning this trick. You either gotta wind up a little more, pop a little higher uh, so you can get more air time or just focus on uh, keeping your weight straight so that you don't land super heavy on the nose. But that's the uh, the full cab, the fakey backside 360. I personally think it's easier to learn anything fakey or nolly 360 than it is to do it off the tail. Uh, just because you're not scraping as much, you're you're spinning in the same direction that your board is already heading towards. Um, so it tends to make it easier for you to rotate a spin off the nose anytime than it is to do it off the tail and have to really get more of a scrape. So hopefully that cleared it up for you guys. Uh, let me know down below what other tricks you want to see me do. And I will see you next time.